Hello, I'm Nikki, and I'm going to show you some of the clever things that you can do with pivot tables. We're going to use schools data as an example, and we're going to be looking at how to compare how children did at Key Stage 3 with their final GCSE results. Here's our raw data with fictional names. The columns that we're most interested in are these two here. But once we've created our table, we'll also be able to easily compare the results with other columns, such as ethnicity, gender, and whether or not the kids get free school meals. So we need to click into the list, then go to the Insert tab and choose Pivot Table. Now we get our control panel down the right-hand side so we can add the fields we want to compare. These are Key Stage 3, which I'm going to put in the row area, and GCSE, which I'm going to put in the column area. What we need now is a field to go in the values area, and we need something that we can count on that's definitely not going to be blank. So I'm going to use the student's name, and because it's a text field, Excel will automatically make that account. In fact, I don't really want it to show as a number at all. I'd like a percentage. So I'm going to click on count of student down here and choose value field settings. Then I'm going to go to show fields as and choose percentage of row total. While I'm in here, I'm also going to change the number formats so that it shows a percentage with zero decimal places. Let's confirm that. Our table's definitely getting there. But there are a few improvements I'd like to make. For example, sometimes your data might not be in the right order. Here, I'd rather A star was before A, because that's the highest grade. And I can literally select it and click and drag it to where I want it to go. If you have any blanks in your data, you might also want to tidy those up by filtering them out. Now I'd also like to add a filter to the whole table and I do that by adding the field to the report filter and I'm going to go for FSM which is free school meals and once it's there I can just use the drop down and choose yes. So let's just take a moment to make sense of this data. Looking at the total figures at the bottom we can see that 6% of all students got an A star. Homing in on just those that got 7 at Key Stage 3, we can see 50% of those got an A star and 50% got an A. Can you imagine how long it would have taken us to work that out without a pivot table? I think I'd rather not. Could you use pivot tables to make more sense of your data? For more ways to boost your productivity, go to happy.co.uk.